are underway in Aspen, and our very own Lauren McDonald is up there catching all of the action. She's been talking to athletes about what it takes just to make it to the games. She joins us now with highlights live from Aspen. Good morning, Lauren. Hey, Macy, good morning. Yeah, you know, extreme sports, well, they call for extreme athletes, and you're going to see a combination of both this weekend at the X Games. Yesterday, we caught up with some of the competitors to see what it takes to shred it out here on the big slopes. It's dubbed as the best show on snow. 250 of the most elite in winter sports performing jaw-dropping tricks over the course of four action-packed, adrenaline-filled days. But what exactly does it take to get to the biggest stage in extreme snow sports? It takes a lot. I mean, it starts off just by doing well in all the contests, you know, starting from the small ones, working your way up, getting bigger, and to finally be in X Games is like kind of like the end. It's like you made it. This is my first X Games, so it's a really great experience. I'm just so stoked to be here. A lot of training in the off season and just trying to stay focused and keep on doing the tricks over and over and then when it's go time you just got to throw them all down. It takes a lot of love for snowboarding, you know. If you if you love what you're doing, you're able to do way more. You're able to do sacrifice way more for it, you know, and just and get, get stoked. Determination, dedication, and hard work are a given, but pushing the limits of mind and body comes with an undeniable challenge. So how exactly do these daredevils deal with the fear factor? Breathe, <laughs> pray, and just go for it. I try to block out of my mind and like, just ride the course. This is one of the toughest courses too. It's one of the longest, takes like the most stamina to get through the whole thing, you know, without falling. So to land a run today has been pretty exciting. Yeah, you try not to think about what you're doing. You're just trying to like focus on your riding and not the consequences because then you'll end up hurting yourself. It's not scary. It's not fun. If everything is safe, it's like it's the same, you know. It needs to be scary. Adrenaline seekers make for good crowd pleasers, and there's no doubt it takes a special type of shredder to stick it on the big slopes. Aside from the amazing competition, guys, it is worth noting that the best experience, well, maybe it's for the fans here at the X Games. This is a huge party scene. Last night, after all the competition wrapped up, Base Nectar, uh, they put on a really great show. And tonight, chain smokers are going to light up this house. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. Wish I could stay for that, but unfortunately, we got to get back to Colorado Springs so that we can bring you guys the news on Monday morning. Yeah, we really appreciate you being out there, Lauren. And this is your first X game. So, what has been one of the best experiences for you out there? You know, uh, the first night that we got here on Thursday night, we got to watch the snow cross. If you guys have never seen that, YouTube it. It is amazing <laughs> stuff. Tonight there is a uh, another snowmobile event. It is a freestyle event where they're going to go over the top, do all kinds of flips and tricks, and it's uh, it's really amazing stuff. I could never do it, but as we said, these athletes are fearless. And it also, it's worth noting, if you have nothing to do today, come on out here because the event is free. The music concerts are not, but the event is free, and it is a lot of fun. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Lauren. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. All right.